It's days like this that really remind me of why am I still here and why do I do what I do every single day. Nowadays, when you're out in the media, sometimes you hear a lot about founders that are just trying to become billionaires and buy media conglomerates and just trying to, you know, own and own more and more. And it sometimes may feel like everybody wants to rule the world. At Startup Bootcamp, we believe something else. We believe that everybody wants to change the world and change the world for the better. And that's what we want and that's what we believe in. Startups, startup founders are change makers. And we say that startup founders are heroes. And why do we strongly believe that? And we live by that because heroes, they're leaving behind what is comfortable or good, right? These startup founders over here often gave up high paying jobs at big consultancy firms, great retirement plans, great safety nets. And oftentimes these founders are going against even their own parents who are just begging them to get a normal job. <laughs> and why are they doing that? They're not doing that to just line their pockets, not these founders, no. These are impact startups. They are doing this for what they believe is right for all. They're not looking uh, just to make financial gains, but to also deliver impact to the world, positive impact. Whether it's on the environment, on the lives of people, on the unbanked population, they are here trying to find that delicate balance which brings us to sustainable development. Talking about sustainable development, we do have some goals, right? And we have a lot of work to do. If you're into the SDG world, you know that we're running a little bit behind. Imagine, beautiful day in Amsterdam. I know, it takes a lot to imagine. But imagine it's a beautiful day in Amsterdam, and we were sitting at our office, and we're like, oh, that's going kind of slow, isn't it? What do we know that could speed the progress of the SDGs? Startups. And how many startups would it take for us to reach the SDGs within the time frame? How many startups would it take? How many do you think? If you've been to the Startup Bootcamp office, you, 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 you can say. You can cheat. It's... Huh? 100, a little bit more, 100,000 startups. We found out this through our data, also through consultancy firms that we work with, and it's become our goal. Once we found out it takes 100,000 empowered startups to change the world for the better, we were not able to rest. Startups are the solution, and that's what we do here at Startup Bootcamp. We empower these founders that you just saw and the founders that you're about to see, because there are some more pitches coming, to change the world they are the solution. Now, we are the number one startup accelerator in Europe, and I say this not to brag, but because we are also expanding every day. There is change happening all around the globe, right? We are opening, recently opened our office in Brazil. There's offices in the south of Europe as well happening. There's offices opening up all around the globe, and we're quickly becoming the number one startup ecosystem in those markets as well. Because change doesn't happen just in this room in Amsterdam, it happens around the globe. We're in the business of changing people's lives. That's what I like to define. Because if I change your life and you're an impact startup, you're going to change as well the life of others. So actually, we're in the business of changing the lives of people who will change other people's lives. I love saying that because it makes an impact and it also inspires, hopefully, you to understand that when you help them, you're actually helping as well the people they help. Now, a little story time. One day, I'm at the office, beautiful day in Amsterdam, hard to imagine. And if you've seen me working, you already know it probably looked something like this. I love my job, and that's one of the ways in which I'm very similar to SpongeBob SquarePants. However, on this day, something was different. We got an email on our inbox, and it was from young Miriam. And it really changed a lot of things for me. Miriam, when she was 10 years old, that's an actual screenshot. I tried to block the personal data, but when she was 10 years old, she came up with her first innovative idea. And now she's 13, and she reached out for help because she's starting her own startup. She's coming all the way from Iran, but what really resonated to me was this one sentence. The only person who supported me is my father. Whether you're a young girl in Iran or you're a startup here finishing one of the most exciting programs in the world, what sometimes all you need is just somebody that supports you, that helps you, that believes in you. No matter who you are, for each and every person with a dream out there, you can make a huge difference. Just like, how 
You may ask, Gio, how can it make a big difference? I will tell you. Willem spoke about this very early on, but I want to explain a little bit more. You can start by doing one thing. You can help a startup. How can you help a startup? Listen to their pitch and think, who do I know that I can connect this startup with? Who can I connect them with that could perhaps lead to a new client, a POC? How can you help? You can share about them on LinkedIn. Man, I met this amazing startup at the next web. Share their message. Connect them. Do you know somebody that's looking for a job that could work at their startup, right? Finding talent is super hard. There are many ways you can help a startup. The important thing is that you do, right? Second, you can also mentor a startup. I like to say mentors are like Obi-Wan Kenobi's. They came, you know, they're super guys. They can make a big difference. But I was told by the team that not everybody had a sad teenage years like I did, and that might not resonate. Not everybody's a Star Wars fan. But still, mentors are super guides that can really help a startup. Whether you're a seasoned professional in your industry and you want to share that knowledge with the next generation, or you're just super excited about this and you want to give the founders a platform to talk to, right? Being a founder, look at them. Sometimes it can be a little bit lonely. There's a reason why only one of them pitch at the time, you know? It's really, you're fighting a huge battle. If you can be that person to spar, to connect, to offer some support, please do. Third, but definitely not least, you can invest in a startup. Now, I know 38 startups that are definitely looking for funding, and you should definitely invest in them. But when you're investing in an impact startup, you're not just giving some money to make more money. You're fueling someone's dream. These people are spending the most productive years of their lives fighting for what they believe is good, not just for them, not just for us, but for people all around the globe that need a certain kind of help that they're not getting right now. So if you can invest in a startup, please do. It makes a huge difference, and I'm sure you will not regret it. Now, we're about to go back to the pitches. But if I can leave you guys with one message today, and if I can ask you for one thing, that's why I'm here, that's why I asked you five minutes just to talk to you, is when you leave today, think about how are you sparking change? How are you capable of changing the lives of others, especially of these startups over here today? My name is Giovanni Vaccari. I'm from Startup Bootcamp, and innovation will save the world. Thank you.